Okay, Nick. Here's our mission. We're going south. Just straight up south. We're gonna go check out these two locations, try and grab a bobblehead, and then go down here to see if we can find any kind of really intimidating enemies. Because the way that the enemy scaling works is the further you're away from Sanctuary Hills, the more dangerous things get. So on the very edges of the area, on the very edges of the map over here, are like the highest level dudes. And I want to see if we can fight them. And the same thing over here, we fought quite a few of those. I mean, that's when we saw one of those Mirelurk Queens just chilling out in a fucking open field. So we could probably have one of those down there. I wish that things could change up because we're level 62? 63, my god. I just want to see crazy shit start advancing further and further into the game. <laughs> like you just find legendary death... Well, I was a little bit closer. What the fuck was that? <laughs> it sounded like a big, or like a really loud twang. Oh, I missed something. Ooh, it's a relay tower. Re relay towers are nice. They send me into distress missions or distress calls, and I can go, oh, what's going on over here? Oh, there's something buried underneath those leaves? Wow. I'm glad Google could tell me that. <laughs> oh god! We're under assault! That's not what I wanted at all! Jeez! I still want a system where I can grab every single legendary I have and just like combine them together. Whoops, that's what I wanted. No console. Alright, what do we got? Super Mutant Radio Broadcast Signal. Well, that's not a distress call, but let's see what that's like. Someone saying something about a trick? We not hurt you. We just want help you. Message. Message repeats in three seconds. Humans, someone's get coming. Out there and need help. We help you. Come to Shaw School Place. We promise not tear you limb from limb and eat you. <laughs> oh, but I want to I guess it's safe eat you. Now. Yes, I know you do. Look, I'm reading this exactly like you wanted. Remember? It's a trick. You're trying to trick them with a lie. Oh, yeah. You're right. <laughs> right. Where was I? You can't we hide not for hurt you. We just want help. What the? Yes, we're not. Okay. Oh, jeez. How many fucking suiciders do they have? So apparently there is ugh, level 63 glowing one. That's not. <laughs> that's not pleasant. That's equal level to me. Anyways, I was saying. Oh. Right, apparently there's a super mutant signal coming from a Shawshank school. Did we pass by that place before? The Suffolk County Charter School? I guess it's not the same thing. Weird. I wonder what, find out where that's coming from. It also reminds me that there's a raider signal over to the west side that I forgot to investigate. Mostly because, I mean, why would I? <laughs> Logically, why would I legitimately go towards a raider area? But, as a player, of course we're gonna go try and check out a raid area. Hello. This is right around the corner of a place we spent quite a bit of time in. My god. Well, there's a human voice in there, so... I want to see what happened to her. Is she working with these mutants? I want to eat humans! I know, but, you know, there's just a lie. We're tricking them. What? Who's there? 
This is one grim locale. Oh, most locations are grim. Oh, well, oh, there's a dog. Ooh. Rapid automatic laser pistol, 25% faster fire rate, and a 15% faster reload. Neat. I like the sound of the faster fire rate part. Although, uh... Hey. I don't really need a reload thing, because I have an unlimited one! Well, that's not working out. Okay, so nothing with an E... or an A in the in these positions. What about... Ball. Sweet. There you go. Ball is life. Memos to faculty and staff. My god. These are gonna be long. Oh, boy. From the desk of Principal Ronald Tanner. Memos of faculty and staff. Hello. As you all probably know, our school has been... has seen quite the jump in average standardized uh, test scores as of late. And congratulations are obviously in order. Since leadership starts at the top, and I will be accepting the Administrative Officer uh, Officer of the Year award at next month's school district meeting, they've asked I keep my speech short, so I have obviously kept my thanks to those closest to the projects in order to focus more time on my thoughts and plans for the coming years. Know that each of you has done your part, and I thank you for even the smallest contribution. Because of these events, you may hear rumors of budget increases to our school. While some of these rumors may be true, and the increase will be probably minimal and will be allocated to equipment and fac uh, facility upgrades, Oh, God. The way I'm reading this, I keep on thinking there's just gonna be one more coma, or comma. While some of these rumors may be true, the increase will probably be minimal and will be allocated to equipment and facility upgrades. However, I have earmarked a portion of the budget for a faculty staff mixer this weekend from the hours of 6 to 6.45 as a token of my appreciation. Good work and go Cougars, Principal Tanner. Hello, many of you have expressed concerns over the delay in the equipment upgrades promised recently. Let me assure you all of that I uh, all of you that I have called the district office and top men are looking into the shipping error. Until then, please continue work as normal with the equipment we have available. The same equipment, I'll remind some of you, that has helped to increase our test scores in order to re receive the budget increase. If it's not broke, don't fix it, as I always say. Go Cougars! Memo to faculty and staff. Hello! All teachers and staff are hereby given the rest of the week off and should let those students go as well. When you receive this, please cancel all your plans, excuse your class, and leave in a quiet, orderly manner. I will be very busy in my office adjusting my hairpiece, so under no circumstances am I to be notified or bothered. In addition, all students in Mr. Wellborn's history class will be graded on a scale of A to A- instead of the usual A to F. This change in accordance with the recent studies from the district office. And all, and you all know how much I love the district office. I'm an idiot, Principal Butt Toots. Yes. Rusty Burton for Homecoming King. <laughs> oh boy, here we go. Hello, it goes without saying I am extremely disappointed in the gullibility of the faculty during last week's events. I find it hard to uh, believe that almost all of you did not realize that the memo was an obvious forgery. Those of you off for most of the last week will be unfortunately... will unfortunately be docked pay for the days you missed. Perhaps this will remind you to be available by phone in off hours. Also, please take a moment to change your password on your terminals, as I have been told that the default one has made the rounds amongst the students. In addition, locks are being added to most doors to increase safety measures. Finally, Mr. Wellborn, Rusty Burton will be absent from your class for the next few weeks. Please be- <laughs> Please have his homework available for him to pick up at the end of each day. Oh, Rusty, you made mistakes. Alright. Don't worry, Valentine, you'll get help eventually. This is just, um... An extension of the conversation we had once before. You're just on the receiving end nice. of the tons of enemies. Okay, oh look, another fucking terminal. From Principal Tanner. There's gonna be a lot of reading in this place. Oh yes. boy. Ooh, library. Alright, what do we got here? Personal folder. Oh god. So much reading. I came here to kill super mutants and find out what happened to that lady who was talking. Instead, we're here learning about this school. The superintendent is breathing down my neck about test scores. It looks like I may be about to lose this job I hate so much. Jesus. First the vault tech sales job, now this. There's gotta be some way to get those little shits to study harder. I thought about allowing corporal punishment, but some parents will write a letter. God, they don't pay me enough for this. 
<laughs> oh shit. Potential students list. Paul Picard, Jason Eichmann, Shelley Deans, Rusty Burton, and Luke Anderson. What is that for? Hmm. Okay, the plan is all set up. I've targeted a small group of detention regulars, students who know how to get things done under the radar and how to keep their mouths shut. I set them up with a steady supply of Mentats, which they'll distribute throughout the student body. Uh, I was suspicious about that. I offer them longer lunch periods and I get better test scores out of the whole thing. Now I just sit back and wait for the federal funding to come in or come rolling in. And with that, we are done with the spring semesters and it is time for summer. I'll have plenty of fun at the new beach house while the, wi the wife is visiting her mother. Only a few things left to tie up, including meeting with that brat Burton, and I'll be off. Just a few more years of this and I'll be ready to retire. Man, how much money are you getting from the money or the, the budget increase? Jeez, I've got a summer home now. From the desk of Superintendent Marcello. Ronald, excellent work on your numbers. Standardized test scores have skyrocketed since our talk last year. Bravo indeed. As per our discussion, the board and I have decided to grant you a substantial budget increase for the coming school year. A sizable portion should definitely cover raises for the staff and administration. They've certainly earned it. And they're not alone, as you'll see on your next paycheck. Keep up the good work. And then we read these memos already. And now we can open up a door. Uh-oh, what is going on here? Hey! Holy shit, look at all these Mentats! Alright, I should take one right now! Or five! No, that'd be wasteful. I just want more XP from life, man. Actually, speaking of XP, do I have any squirrel stew? I do, look at that. Alright, I could have gained quite a bit more XP from all of our escapades. That's funny. I was reading the memo about the student increases. And I was just sitting there going, why did everything increase? Was it Mentats? I use Mentats. I completely understand if it's the okay, case. So and yep, there you go. Scumbag teacher using drugs to enhance test scores. They made a mess of this place, didn't they? And the best part is that he didn't even <coughs> upgrade his school. He could have. Yeah, we're just gonna, uh, we're gonna do this. <laughs> You're taking a lot of bullets, so how about I just spray a whole lot of lasers into you instead? Ooh, you know what? I want to test out the Curie perk. I'm imagining that it's just an automatic thing. Once I get below 10 health, I just suddenly get put up to 100, right? So I'm gonna allow myself to get shot up quite a bit. Or so I had to run into an enemy. Alan, what is it? It's just a human! Hello! I wonder if it's the same voice actor for every single Super Mutant. I haven't been listening to them. No, Strong is different. But that's because he's a companion. And companions get special treatment. Otherwise, everyone sounds like Garrus. <laughs> I don't know the layout of this place at all. Okay, we have more, uh, more just the memos. Was this like a detention room? Because we have, like, a few desks and then just alcohol. This doesn't look like a place of learning. It looks like a place of, oh god, I just want this to be over. More Mentats! Spineless human! Hurt me! Hurt me! Do it! Shoot me! More! Keep hitting me! I have to test this out! Good. Nick's been distracted. Put it now! Human time is done! Is the yank of the super so long. Come on, drop me below Get ten. Go. Go. Okay, that didn't do anything. <laughs> yeah, 
sharps here, dude. <laughs> I was really hoping for an automatic activation. Like, I just sat there, and suddenly, Curious Thing Not pops so off. As you're carrying it. So, like I said beforehand, kind of redundant. It's just really pointless. If it was an automatic life-saving thing, then that would be the best thing ever. Instead, it looks like it's more of a, okay, once you're down to 10%, pray to God you're not, I guess, standing out in the open, to be fair. <laughs> okay. But it's probably a thing where you have to be, you're 10% lower, and you're in cover, and, I don't know, something activates. Oh, Rusty's lunch. What the hell happened with Rusty? Danger! Unauthorized software detected. The following programs are no longer functioning. Read-only settings, decency filters, vulgarity blockers, anti-gaming software. If you are a student, please alert your teacher to these changes. If faculty, please contact a school technician before allowing students to use this terminal. Uh-oh. Rusty has been doing some hacking. This is Rusty Burton, and all you jerkwads trying to read my thoughts better step off. I found anybody reading this in your end for an atomic wedgie yet you'll never forget. You have been warned! Ha! I'm in. This terminal is mine. Can't believe that nerd Clayton fixed up this computer so he didn't it don't erase everything after class. Little geek done good. But I'm still taking his lunch money today. Maybe I won't pound him so hard, but I gotta eat something. Anyway, this class is boring, but Mr. Ramirez flips flips out if it don't look like I'm typing. That therapist my mom makes me go to says I should write out my feelings more anyway. So what the hell? Well, See if this works. Rusty rules! My god, Rusty, you are just the worst hyper. Tanner sucks. Principal Tanner pulled me from class out of class today, and I was pissed because I didn't even do anything. Turns out he wants me to do work for him. Told me to start selling Mentats around school. I said, what's in it for me, Tanner? Longer lunchtime and some stuff taken off my permanent record. How's that for a deal, huh? I mean, I sell stuff already, so no sweat. I just hand out these Mentats instead, and it's a free ride the rest of the year. Even tried a few of them. Man, they make my head feel funny. But it feels like everything Ramirez is saying is making sense now, right? Weird. Okay. That's funny. So, by the looks of it, Tanner sent out that fake message and pinned it on Rusty. <laughs> oh, boy. Update. Tanner has kept up his part of our agreement keeping my lunch hours as long as I distribute Mentats amongst the other students. Funny, he doesn't seem to notice that I've also been taking them. My parents have. I come home with a B-plus test grade and one that I'd earned myself. I didn't even have, I didn't even have to copy off of Clayton. Tanner seems pleased, though. I haven't quite put together why he would throw his hat in with me and other school miscreants for this goal, but I feel like I'm getting closer to figuring it out every day. Rusty Burton, signing off. Intriguing development. I think I've deduced Principal Tanner's plot. After announcing a rise in test scores, it all became clear to me. Tanner hopes to earn himself accommodations from Superintendent Marcello and the school board by raising standardized test scores. An ingenious plan, one of the old rusty wouldn't have pieced together. But how to turn this to my advantage? Hmm. My master plan. As I predicted, Tanner leaves his office door unlocked when using the restroom. I was able to sneak in and make a pressing of the clay, of the key of clay, of the key of clay I requisitioned from the art department. Yesterday, using my new key, I entered his office, used his terminal, and found a stash of Mentats. I also read his log and verified my theory. He is using te raised test scores to increase school funds and pocketing most of it. Now I have what I need. I have arranged a meeting in the library study room with Tanner. I'm doing most of the hard work. So why shouldn't I benefit from the cash flow increase? Finally, I'll be able to buy that telescope I've been wanting. Boy, taking intelligence increasing drugs has made a real big turnaround for Rusty. Well, there's a library right around the corner from here, so let's see what happened. Will we find Rusty's dead body along with Tanner? Did the apocalypse happen? What happened in here? Well, obviously Superman's had access to this place. Ugh. Come on now! What yep. a waste of good knowledge. It's just me. Did they burn the books? Oh, wear your guts around my neck! I don't know. 
Excuse you? What the hell was that about? <laughs> you hit like a rad rope! <laughs> Something exploded next to me. I don't know if it was because of the Superman shooting explosive or if uh, Nick Valentine did anything. Jesus. Alright, does this have anything good? Oh boy, Mentats! 400 tokens?! Jesus. I will return some books though, so I can have more tokens! Yay! Alright, we're taking some buff out. Oh, I forgot I have... No, 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 we're good. I removed it. I just remembered. <laughs> we just look weird constantly. Oh, I forgot I had this missile launcher. I was gonna try and use it in, on the ghouls, but we never did. Whoops. Take that weapon. What? You've been giving me brain pills every week. What did you expect? You get so smart? Uh oh. <laughs> we had a little bit of a glitch. Jesus. We gotta restart it. All right, Burton. I'm here. Hurry up. Out with it. I have a lot of plans for this summer, and none of them involve chatting with you. Why, Ronald? I'm hurt. Skipping the pleasant trees and getting right down to business. And after all we've accomplished together this semester. For the last time, you little snot, it's Principal Tanner. Fine, Principal Tanner. I'll make this quick. You've been giving me mentors to distribute to the students quietly and under the nose of the faculty. I have. Because of this, test scores have skyrocketed. The school board has noticed. We received quite an increase in funding. But the faculty doesn't know. No one here knows except you. And now, me. You've been skimming off the top and pocketing most of the funds. I want 50% of what you're embezzling. We'll go to Superintendent Marcella with this. What? How did you... When did you get so smart? You've been giving me brain pills every week. What did you expect, you pathetic little man? Well, so what if it's all true? No one's going to believe you. You're just a kid. And I'm the principal, and more importantly, an adult. Oh, I think they'll believe me, Ronald. Especially after they hear you admit everything in your own words. What are you talking about? Wait. Is that a hollow tape? You son of a... So what ended up happening? Did Tanner have to agree? The tape was still here! So obviously it never left this room. And that could mean a number of things. Maybe they came to a new to an agreement. Been one hell of a disagreement to merit all this. Or something else happened. We don't see any bodies, but I doubt that, you know. Damn it. It was over there. Ugh. I doubt that Principal Tanner would have been stupid enough to just leave a dead kid's body inside of a room if he went over and like choked him, so who knows? We're gonna grab this. There we go. Oh, great. Now we have a 2% chance of avoiding all damage from the attack. Yay. This has been a pre recorded message. Message repeats in three seconds. Oh, boy. We have a fucking trap here. Humans. I'm trying to find the get source of the pre recorded recording so I can get rid of it on my uh, map. You. Come to Shaw School Place. So far, I'm you having a bad time doing not that. Not tear you limb from limb and eat you. Ah, this is cute. A teddy bear, and I'm assuming some candy. And there's even a note underneath it. Ah, that dude was going to like be like, "Hey, girl or guy, I like you. I guess, yeah." And then the nukes fell, so it doesn't matter. I am having such a hard time trying to find this pre-recorded message thing. I found tons of Mentats left around the place. I went to like a basement area that just had a whole bunch of bloody bags. 
What the hell? I thought that the pre-recorded thing was gonna be like back here, right? We have this perfectly lit up room. But instead all we have in here are overdue books. Which I guess is cool if I want to get tokens, but I don't. Uh. Hey. I'm listening. Hey, you, uh, got a sec? Oh yeah, I definitely do, Nick. I was just gonna toss some items in your inventory, but what's up? Of course, Nick, what's up? I wouldn't normally bother you with this sort of thing, but, uh, well, I know I can trust you at this point. For as long as I can remember, I've been getting these, uh, flashes. Memories of places I've never been. Things I've never seen. Memories of Nick's. They're not bad, they're just, um, they're just this inescapable reminder that I'm not the person I think I am, that I'm not a person at all. I'm just a machine, pretending to be human. What kind of memories? Everything. Old cases, old loves. I found myself running background on cases only to realize everyone involved's been dead for 200 years. Don't get me wrong, I know I'm in Nick's debt. These memories, they've, they've kept me alive. Nick was a hell of a cop. A guy with good instincts and a good heart. I always counted myself lucky they didn't load me up with some ex-con or whatever type might volunteer to let folks tinker with their gray matter. But it's thanks to Nick that I pass for human. Why I get to live cushy in Diamond City, and every other synth is shot on sight. I know I got it good, but... My entire life, I owe to Nick. Everything that makes me who I am. My judgment, my speech, hell, even my name. They're his. And I can't do a damn thing about it, because without them... Without them, I'm nothing. A shell. All I want is a life where I have something I can call my own. Okay, well, uh, let me look at these options. We could give you a new name, would that help? I got it, Crumblebot! <laughs> oh, wow, no, okay. Is there any way we could separate you and Nick? Don't think I haven't tried. Lost near a month of my life last time I mustered up the courage to let someone play brain surgeon on me. No. This is how it's gonna be. Living with another man's name. Another man's life. You've already built a life for yourself, Nick. You've got the agency, a home... Friends. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you're not wrong. You know, I... I'm just gonna need some time to think on this. I appreciate you hearing me out. You're a, you're a real good friend. Thanks. You're welcome, Nick. Now, pick up that pistol. Heads up. Get now, that pistol. See what I can do. <laughs> oh, I'm a dick. Grab that gun over there. Good plan. You know, there is this chunk of Nick Valentine history I've been hoping to put a bow on for a while now. I could use a hand if you're willing to take a crack at it. Uh... <laughs> yeah, what's up? What kind of history are we talking here? Well, this one's straight out of the archives. Once upon a time in the land of Boston, there lived a king of organized crime. Eddie Winter. He was a bad man who did a lot of bad things, hurt a lot of innocent people. But he knew the end was coming, so he sealed himself inside a personal shelter, located underneath the sub shop he used as a headquarters. Eddie Winter was from my time. <sighs> Real scumbag. The story gets even more twisted. The arrogant bastard wanted to cheat death, live forever. So he could come out of that shelter someday into this brave new world. Sound familiar? Only Eddie didn't want to be a frozen banana. No cryo sleep for him, no. 
He invested his money in some sick, crazy radiation experiment. Oh boy. Did he become a ghoul? You don't mean to tell me he used that radiation to... That's right. Eddie Winter went and turned himself into a ghoul. 200 years before it was fashionable. Hell, he was probably the first one. And I'm convinced that he's still locked inside that shelter. Safe and sound. Ready to come out and begin his evil reign all over again. I'm gonna find him and kill him, so that never happens. You in? Yeah, alright. I don't get it, Nick. Why kill Eddie Winter, even if he's still alive? Well, I don't want to ask that, but I do also want to ask that. Let's see. <laughs> I don't know, Nick. Sounds a bit like cold-blooded murder. I don't get it, Nick. Why kill Eddie Winter, even if he is still alive? This sounds like some kind of vendetta. I've got memories of a, of a girl. My girl. They're not really my memories, I know that. They're Nick's. But the girl... She was real. She was beautiful. And innocent. And Winter killed her. Now he's got to pay the price. So, knowing that, are you in? Okay. <laughs> Alright, Nick. Let's get the bad guy. You're a good man. Now, I know where Winter's vault is, but the door is sealed with a complex numerical code. Lucky for us, Winter's arrogance knew no bounds. Back in the day, he recorded ten holotapes, incriminating different criminal associates. On each one, he hit a single number. We find all of those holotapes, we get all the numbers. We get all the numbers, we get the code. And then we get Winter. I've been putting together a file on this one for a while now. There's a pair of holotapes in here worth listening to. Uh, including one of Winters that I managed to snatch from the Cambridge Police Evidence Lockup before getting swarmed by ferals. My gut tells me the Boston Police Evidence Terminals are the key to cracking this one. It's probably worth paying a visit to any of the departments you might have stumbled across. Mmm, okay. So we finally have a reason to have all these Eddie Winter case thingies, besides just an interesting story about a criminal. Ah, ha ha ha. Okay. Well, you still need to pick up my stuff. Now. Heads up. Do something so, for you. Get that rifle. Sure thing. Aha, uh -huh, there you go. Again, thank you, Google. <laughs> so many of these places just have like a, a random. Metal Before door. This gets cleaned up. I guess someone would have to be willing to touch it. Uh, you could just let it rot away. Let the bugs eat it. Human, if out there and need help, we help you. Come to Ugh. Shaw School Place. We promise not tear you limb from limb. Well, we found out where everybody went, and I guess they. Did end up killing all the humans, of course, including the chick who probably was recording everything. She had handcuffs on. Oh, poor gal. Well, at least we got the thing off my, my radio list. Having those things on there would just drive me mad. <laughs> I really hate it. It's like, well, I don't need the signal. Words don't do this place justice. Though condemned starts to get at it. I guess. Mostly only because of the super mutants. Otherwise, this place is totally fine. Rundown school place that's relatively... It's got most of its walls intact. At least on the outside. On the inside, it's pretty banged up. But I'd imagine that's mostly because of the super mutants. Oh, okay, great. Radiation storm. <laughs> this is what we come out into. Damn you, world. Damn. All right. So, what are we going to be doing? We have a map that points us to different locations across the Commonwealth. So there, it looks like there's three locations for me to check out. The South Boston Police Department, the East Boston Police Department, and the Battiful Regional Office. 
And then after we have that, we can listen to all the numbers. Ah, but we're so close to this bobblehead. And my own personal mission of wanting to explore the south to see if there's any crazy things down there. Well, I'd south, still. But first I'm gonna take a little bit of a break. <laughs> 